So when we do have kind of that inherent asymmetry, sometimes we like to kind of live on that right side, so this right hip kind of gets hiked and kind of like hang on that right hip and into that right leg. And sometimes what will happen is this kind of femur will roll in kind of as an effect of this hiking in this stance position. It's almost like the side bend to the right. Femur rolls in, and so we don't continue walking like this. The bottom leg bone, the tibia will kind of turn out. So you're kind of locking that foot into a supinated shape. So when you're in this setup, it's really hard to roll through and access internal rotation and formation at the foot. And then the upper body will respond because we don't want to walk around feeling like we're all twisted. So then it's like, Ooh. So there are different things that happen up top as well. Hey guys, so just really quickly on adductor strength. Um, I think like Copenhagen's and like ball squeezes and different exercises are really great and prescribed often for like connecting with the adductors, which are like an anchor to our pelvis and a kind of a direct line into our pelvic floor and our deep abs. But sometimes if you have femurs like me that kind of roll in, um, squeezing something may like cause discomfort in like the front of the hip, depending on the position. So there are different things like these by no means is this like a perfect checklist that I have in the caption but just different things that have really helped me um, better access movements like a Copenhagen or um, other areas um, or variations for adductor strength um, there are a lot of strategies I use um, with clients who present similar to me with kind of that anterior tilt femurs rolled in and sometimes I actually put a band for stability to kind of give you a place to kind of sit back into it can really help with something like a hinge or other different exercise variations so check out today's post for more.